Hello, people of the world and the Come Up universe. It's me, Nick, and this is the Come Up. Ha! I was on her podcast called Big Disney Energy um, this week with the amazing Michael Quarantine. She is Disney, so I'm just gonna bring her out to talk about it. Here she is, Tyler Meredith. Tyler. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> How are you? I'm so good. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for having me on. This is a, a day, a year maker. This I'm so stoked. Thank That's you. That's so how much. I felt about being on Disney. Disney FG. I literally oh. was skipping around for like I think it was like two weeks, and I was skipping around. I was like, I'm doing an episode of Big Disney Energy <laughs> with Tyler and Michael Turrentine, and it's gonna be the best. And everyone was like, You're doing Big Disney Energy, and I was like, Yes, I am doing Big Disney Energy. <laughs> And you're like, I have, I have big Disney energy. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense that I would do big Disney energy because yeah. I have big Disney energy. I always think that you're from Texas, but that's because of a role that you played one time at the Goodman and not because that's your actual story. So tell people where you're that's actually so from. <laughs> that's so close. I, I'm actually impressed that you didn't think it was like in Idaho or like near Idaho because a lot of people are like, oh, Arkansas, that's like near montana and i'm like it's absolutely not um <laughs> but i <laughs> i grew up um, in northwest arkansas in fayetteville so it's uh right it's i mean yeah the ozarks if you've seen the ozarks it's in the ozarks um and uh yeah so like just a good old cute liberal college town uh, i say it's like the the what austin is to texas fayetteville is to arkansas mm. so i'm like if you're gonna go just maybe go to Fayetteville, you know? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> How did you find this magical world of theatrics and performance? Um, um, well, I started out doing ballet um, and did that from a, a really early age. Do you, Love still, that. do you still practice sometimes? Do you still like dance around your... your, your... <laughs> I'm laughing because it's real. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I do still take classes. I love it. I oh, mean, nice. you know, I'm like, I'm old. So like, this, things aren't bending the same way they used to. <laughs> but yeah, so I did that. Um, and then I, I somehow found out that like, you could go to college for theater when I was young. And I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. And I was like, eight and I was like okay um and um I convinced my parents to send me to Shakespeare camp so I did that um and I I came back from an, a Shakespeare camp at Alabama Shakespeare Festival and made my fifth grade class put on a production of the Scottish play so um <laughs> I did that <laughs> I had pants that were uh I called them my director's pants they were like pinstripes they were wide leg it was the 90s you know um <laughs> <laughs> and I loved them, um, <laughs> but yeah. And so I kept dancing, um, and then uh, and also doing theater. Um, theater Squared, which is a great theater in Fayetteville, um, they before they became Theater Squared, the the uh, the couple who founded it essentially they ran a children's theater company, and um, so I took classes from them. I auditioned with a seven minute witch's speech from the Scottish play when I was nine, 10. Yeah, um, so <laughs> ambitious. Um, Some people are working on puzzles. <laughs> Tyler's over here. Yeah, but like what? <laughs> from there, I found out my cousin was going to an arts boarding high school in Michigan called Interlochen. And I was like, that seems cool. I've been on the, <sighs> the like agency uh, showcase for the seniors for the last two years. Oh, magic. It, I, we didn't go this year because of COVID, but we went last right. year and I was like, I'm at Arts Hog Hogwarts. Like people were like, yes. what are you doing? And I was like, I'm yes. at Hogwarts, except yes. they learn like art stuff, like any of it, <laughs> literally anything you want. Anything, organs. You want to major in organs? There's an organ fucking building, an organ building. <laughs> <laughs> It's been great. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> we have to pull the, the emergency cord there. <laughs> <laughs> Douses me with water. <laughs> oh my God. Elsie, we got to look into some slime. <laughs> they got to look into some slime. <laughs>
Tyler Meredith is famous. So Tyler Meredith and I, we met, we met when I came here for my picture of the government and Tyler was like the reader. Like if they were like, we need someone to read at this audition, they were like, call Tyler. And that became that became oh, my go to, and it still is to this day. Literally, when someone's like, "Do you know an audio reader?" I'm like, "Have you checked Tyler Meredith?" And they're like, "Oh my god, you're right. I should check." And I'm like, "Yeah, because that's that's the only way to go." I mean, I love it because it's an opportunity for me to hopefully help other people get jobs. That's why it's the best job ever. Um, I think really preparing and taking it seriously. All like so many actors, it's like. It's so hard when you're, and of course, readers have bad days. That I, like absolutely it's happened to me. Like it happens all the time. But um, I, I think preparing, read the play, like read the sides, um, make sure you can show up as a good partner, and enjoy it. Like that's it's such a gift to be able to act all day. And and you know, if you go too far, people will pull you back. You know, and I like to check in with the director. I'm always like, cool. Let me know. Like. And nine times out of ten, they're like, "No, go as hard as you can," like because they, you know, they want to see people play with people. Tyler now has an amazing show oh, podcast. Sweaty. It's called Big <laughs> Disney Energy. Tyler, tell us about Big Disney Energy. Where did the idea come from? Uh, mostly me, just like I, I would record things on my stories on Instagram. No one watched, you know. Um, just uh, um, <laughs> me. I watched all of. Them. Oh, you. I I, you would, and I, I wanted to be clear. I'm Tyler's biggest fan on Instagram because Tyler was just like posting entire movies and giving commentary. <laughs> and I and I would watch the movie with her and be like, <laughs> yes, or like I would respond to like every single video. You're a tried and true fan. Like <laughs> you would slide into my DMs and we would go back and forth for like 30 minutes. I started doing that and my friend Hannah Brown, uh, an amazing podcast. Her. Um, she she was like, oh, you should like really put this in, you should like make this a podcast. This would be really fun. And I was like, I don't know. I listened to like her podcast at the time and David Tennant's. Like that was like, that was... <laughs> and two dope queens. That was it. Like three podcasts. <laughs> well, I was like, well, we'll see if I think of a name, sure. And then I was like getting ready to go to bed. And I was like, oh, BDE, because BDE to me until this year um, uh, meant best day ever um, until uh, a one uh, wonderfully talented actress and friend, Bree Sudia, in a text message exchange with me. Um, I said, oh, I'll see you at the Goodman because I was reading. I was reading that day and she was a music man. And I said, oh, hey. I said, oh my God, I'll meet you at the Goodman. BE, we'll go, we'll go on a lunch break together. And she was like, and she saw me. She was like, hey, so quick question. So like big, energy like what was the vibe <laughs> like what was the vibe and i was like no best day ever she was like e that's not that's not what that acronym means but then when i was thinking i was like oh well like i love bde because it's best day ever it's big energy and then i was like oh big disney energy that feels so right <laughs> boom and it is right look at it <laughs> look at it oh my goodness it's so cute and so fun <laughs> You know, I'm definitely one of the few explicit Disney podcasts, and that feels right to me, you know? Like, yeah, it just feels right. <laughs> I love it. What I like about your show is that, like, you get into it. Like, you you dig into, this is kind of problematic. Um, and and we, yeah. we should probably talk about this theme in this movie, because this is either dated or just was wrong all the time. It's also been, you know, kind of just a nice way to, like, spread joy and, and also hopefully kind of, you know, I mean, get the podcast out there, but also kind of propagate the message of, to me, like Disney should not be for um, like young, rich white women. And I think that that's kind of like the culture that um, has like clung to it. Um, sure. And right, and I'm, I am not young nor rich. Um, <laughs> and I, <laughs> so, um, I'm 85. Um, <laughs> else, I can't remember. To me, I was like, oh, well, this is cool, but um, I, like, this is also problematic, and I want to talk about that. Um, mm. And I and I also think it's important that, like, I mean, everyone has a relationship with this one unifying thing, which is, I think, what makes Disney super special. Um, and everyone should feel like Disney is accessible. <laughs> <laughs>